Hey guys, it's Jenna from Head to Toe, and today I wanted to go over a few things that are in competition between high-end and low-end products. You know, I get a lot of questions from people asking me what things are okay to buy drugstore versus from the department store or higher-end line. And, you know, I'm not... I'm not by any means what everybody else should go by, but I thought I would go ahead and give you my own opinions. Starting off at the very bottom, with foundations and powders and anything that goes on your face, you should take very good care of your skin. And because of that, I think generally it's better to go high end. Not to mention if you go to a department store or Sephora, you can test out shades and a lot of times they have much better return policies. A few of the things I've been liking lately um, includes this right here. This is a BB cream, the Skin 79. It's the hot pink one. I really like this, I'm wearing it today. And I think it's like 20 something dollars. So yeah, at the moment, I'm sure this will change, but at the moment this is my favorite um, base makeup or foundation or what have you, it's BB cream. And then I like to set that with MAC Blot Powder because I get oily and it gives you a kind of pretty nice, more like matte finish. It hides a wealth of imperfections. It's really great stuff. The color I use is medium dark. And then for blush, I really like higher end blushes. And the reason why is because the texture is a little bit different. With a lot of lower end blushes, you're not gonna get as much pigmentation. And again, it might have things in it that might break out your skin. So again, I'm really paranoid about things I put on my skin and um, I like to go high end. One of my favorite ones, I found this at a CCO. This is the Summer Rose Beauty Powder Blush, which I really like. I'm wearing that today as well. For concealer, I know this sounds terrible, but again, I go high-end. Um, my favorite is Lancome. This one's discontinued, but this is my very, very favorite. Um, it's the Photogenic Concealer in Kame. And it's just a little pot of cream stuff. I have like one more stocked up, so I'm not gonna get it for a while. I'm sorry, I don't have any better things. I'm trying to find something to replace it right now. But, like I said, if it's on your skin, go high end. And going from the top, let's go eyebrows. I think eyebrow stuff you can go low end because it's not super, super, super imperative that your eyebrows have to look really amazing. The pencils don't have to be very pigmented. So I'm sure you could find something at the drugstore that'll match the color that you're looking for. The thing I've been using lately is Leo Ellie. I don't know what I would call, consider Leo Ellie high end or low end. I don't know, it's just what I've been using lately. And I have another video reviewing the Leo Ellie stuff if you want to go click here. And let's see, eyes, eyeshadow primer, definitely high end. Be just, but only because I haven't tried any low end primers. They might be good, I can't vouch for it. My favorite is Urban Decay Primer Potion. This is better if you have more oily lids. I have also tried Too Faced Shadow Insurance. And I actually like the Urban Decay better since um, I have more oily skin compared to dry skin. It's a little bit better with the oil control. I find the colors are brighter for this on me, just for my skin. Eyeshadow, I go both ways for this. As you probably know if you watch my other videos, I really, really love NYX eyeshadow. And I actually think it's really quite comparable to MAC. In fact, let me do a little swatching. This is an eyeshadow trio that I have. It's in number 12, Golden, Rust, and Walnut Bronze. Can you see how pigmented that is? Really crazy pigmented. So, you know, some things you will find that are like really good quality even if they're not very expensive. Obviously, if you buy higher end eyeshadows, a lot of times they will be really good quality. I've had some really nice long comb eyeshadows and um, MAC, of course. Makeup Forever has ridiculously awesome eyeshadows as well. But I think if you pick and choose and read reviews, you can find some that are almost just as good. But like I said, that's not true for everything, so you really have to sort of pick and choose with that. Or for pencil eyeliner, recently they've come out with this whole new wave of like, the liquidy eyeliners that are basically dupes of my favorite, which is Urban Decay 24-7. I used to say definitely, definitely high-end on those pencil liners because they just last 
way better than other pencil liners, but these newer ones that are drugstore products are actually just as good. Like, um, this is a L'Oreal Hip Chrome Eyeliner in Violet Volt. There's a swatch. If you can see how pigmented it is. And it's just like the Urban Decay pencils. The packaging is really similar. It has the same, like, black pencil -y part. If you want a more liquid look, my absolute HG is this one right here. It's the MAC Fluid Line in Black Track. Um, I find this one works really great for those who have monolids especially because it smudges less but um, it, it dries really quickly and it dries matte. So if you want to do something like double eyelid tape or you want to have something on your eyelids to wear with false lashes, I really recommend this because it's just going to be really seamless and you can make it look like liquid liner or you can smudge it out like a pencil and it's just the best of both worlds. So that's my HG liner so I guess that's high end. For mascara I actually go low end which is kind of funny. I know some people swear by Dior Show. I tried Dior Show. I hated it. It was not good for my stick straight short Asian lashes. So um, my favorite is actually this one. It's the CoverGirl Lash Exact Waterproof. Um, I find it holds curl really well and it just gives a really clean effect. No clumps. The most important thing for mascara for me personally is that it's clean and it holds your curl because, you know, we need all the length that we can get. So I really like this because you can build up on volume but you can't, like, take away really bad clumps. I don't really like using the lash combs. So I really love this. I haven't found a whole lot of department store mascaras that I really liked. If you wanted to get a high-end mascara, I recommend the Shiseido Lasting Lift Mascara because that seems to give the same effect and it has a really nice tiny brush so we can get all the little tiny lashes. But other than that, hands down, all of the drugstore mascaras I've tried have been a lot better. Let's see, for lips, for lipstick, I go both ways. Sometimes I like high-end lipsticks, sometimes low ones are just fine. Um, same with lip gloss. I think you can really get the same quality out of a cheap lip gloss. So I guess that's it. I guess I'll list the things that I like in the info box down there. Uh, if you want to check out more information, please check out my blog at fromheadtotoe.com. That's F-R-M-H-E-A-D-T-O-T-O-E.com. And follow me on Twitter if you're not already. That's twitter.com slash fromheadtotoe. This is Jen, and I will talk to you guys later.